players, Elijah Cooper and Ruby Whitemore. Go ahead and take an opening statement from Coach, and then we'll open up the questions for the players first. Coach? No. Yeah, it was a good test for us to play in the arena in front of fans. It was a really nice to play against somebody other than ourselves. Uh, we appreciate uh, Carson Newman for coming. That, that's a very good Division II team, and they're going to have a good year, and we're going to be rooting for them all the way. Talaja, you've waited a long time to play basketball. You had to sit and watch last year. Just what was it like for you to finally put that uniform on and then play in a system that obviously is much newer than, or much different than what you may have first expected? Um, I was, I was kind of nervous going out there, but um, I adjusted well. Uh, we do it every day in practice. Um, I feel like the system, it fits me well. Um, I love playing. Um, Talaysia, eight steals tonight. Team had 30 overall and forced 52 tur or 43 turnovers. Just how did you feel settling to that press? How do you feel like you guys, you know, really got into that groove? And where do you think you guys could, you know, clean things up moving forward? Um, we do. We work on the press every day in practice, like just constant, nonstop. So I feel like just pressuring the ball, just keeping our foot on their neck, and just. Keep going. Um, just knowing our rotations in the back, in the front. But I feel like we got a lot to prove on, but it's going to get there. Um, this is for both players. Just with the system going in and out every couple minutes, how hard is it? Is it hard at all to sort of develop momentum as the game goes on? <laughs> um. Honestly, like, yes, it's, it was hard at first to kind of get your offensive, like, groove in, you know, because you're kind of trying to adjust to how the defense is playing you. You learn that um, by just continuously playing. And so, but, like, honestly, like, we'd be tired, you know? Like, that's all we got is a minute and 30 seconds. So it's like, you know, you go hard for your minute and 30, and you know your sub is coming in. You know what I'm saying? You get what you can do. Get done what you can, what you can get done in that minute and 30 seconds, you know? Um, I would say, like she said, a um, big adjustment. Um, but I feel like subbing in five and five out, the um, team is not going to be able to keep up with us. And I feel like we're in the best shape. So, like, you can get in there for a minute and 30, not be tired. Sub in again, you got another fresh legs, another minute and 30. Now you got another fresh legs coming back in. So, like, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is it's going to be hard to stay, stay with us. At that pace. We'll go next to Casey in the back. Ruby, speaking of it being hard to stay with that pace, when Carson Newman's head coach was in here, he talked about how it's extremely hard for that opponent to keep up visibly, showing that they just couldn't physically keep up with that. How much do you feel like that's kind of a sixth player for you guys out on the court having that conditioning level? Uh, I, I think our conditioning is everything. I think. We definitely are going to like run teams out of the gym. If anything, like they're going to be tired first. <laughs> um, and it was like, you know what I'm saying? Like it was a lot to take in at first, you know what I'm saying? The conditioning, but then on the back end, like you see how much it benefits us right now and in scrimmages and stuff like that. Like practice is harder than the game. And like that's, that's just crazy. <laughs> Um, Ruby, 29 points in 19 minutes, extremely efficient outing for you. Just what was working for you out there and, you know, what were you seeing out on the court? Honestly, uh, I just was trying to find my spots and be aggressive. I feel like that's something that I had to focus on is just being confident and knowing what I'm capable of um, and playing to my strengths is a big thing that I had to focus on today. And a lot of my strengths is just being able to jump, you know what I'm saying, get up. Um, and then just to... The things that I have added, like um, like my counter moves and stuff like that, playing off of two feet, I feel like that's really opened up my game and it allowed me to see not only the court and my teammates better, but just see the rim better and see where I can attack and get like more open shots. Talisha, I think it was in the first half, you were talking about the full court press, you had a bucket, then there was a turnover, you get another bucket, and I think that might have happened one more time. Just what is it about that press that kind of allowed you to seek that moment and end up converting for points? Um, 
First quarter, I wasn't really having a good game. Like, uh, finishing, my finishing wasn't there. So I took it into my own opponent, like, uh, just focus on defense and uh, just get into them, like, get still, score off the press, um, get in the passing lanes, just moving my feet and getting there. I um, feel like that played a big part because sometimes it's not going to go great on offense. Like, but on defense, I know I can pressure the ball, get steals, and get downhill or make it better, like, get assists for my teammates. Um, Ruby, I thought Z was really made an impression tonight, especially as a rim protector and you know, putting up 17 points. Just what did you think of you know, her performance and how she kind of got into a groove? Yeah, Z was actually, she was a little bit frustrated at first, um, just opening up with the game and stuff that come with nerves and that just come with like getting her groove and stuff like that. But I think like I had to tell her like, you're bigger than every single person on the team. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, and I think she didn't realize that on the front end. So I was like, I had told her like Z, like just catch the ball and, and put it in a basket. Like you literally don't have to do anything else. And um, just like a few of us was just talking to her and just telling her like, you got this, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't let it, let it get you down. And then we came back out after halftime and she just, she took that all in. She really listened to her teammates. She didn't get in her head, get down on herself. She wasn't being selfish. Like I really was impressed by the way she heard everything we said. And then like we gave her confidence and I feel like it showed in the second half when she started turning up. Talaysia's shots started falling for you a little bit easier as the game went on. Obviously, when you guys are taking as many shots as you do, you have to be able to shrug them off quickly. How has Coach Caldwell really built the confidence in you to be able to do that? Um, next play, because I hear it every day. Like, if your shot's not falling, you're good enough on defense that you can get steals, you can create for others. Um, get a steal, go get a bucket. Uh, I feel like she instilled in me, like, um, I play well with other players, so, like, I don't have to score every time I can set my teammates up to score or get a steal on defense, like I just said. All right. Thank you, Talaja and Ruby. All pretty good. Thank you. Take questions. Oh. Oh, I'm right to the mic. <laughs> oh. You brought your toy. Yes, I brought my number. You've got to Maria, please. Coach, you, you told us it might be ugly to begin with, but that there wasn't a lot of ugly there. Were you a little bit surprised by how, how smooth smoothly they got into it, maybe after the first couple minutes? I just think that I look at it with a very different lens, and I always will. And I'm used to this, and a lot of people aren't, right? Our staff is and our players aren't. But when I look at it, I see what we need to fix. And I, I imagine that we're playing for a national championship game, and we can't give up. 38% from three. We can't let them have that many threes. We've got to fix our half-court defense. So I, I look at it very differently. I was I was happy that they came out aggressive, that we had a good first quarter, that we forced pace and tempo, and it looked like our practice from the very beginning. I thought that was a big improvement from where we have been. Your team put up 41 points in the third quarter. Just what were the adjustments you were asking him to make, and what did you think of the way that they made those adjustments coming out of halftime? Yeah, I didn't like our shot selection in the first half. I think we were kind of playing a little rushed. I don't necessarily know that selfish is the right word, but I think we all wanted to see a, the ball go in as individuals, and we weren't really sharing the ball the way we should, taking some bad shots. And we took a few bad shots in the second half, but it wasn't nearly as noticeable, and so I, I thought they did a really good job of making that adjustment. Everyone seems to be kind of hyper aware of where their teammates are on the court. How pivotal is that for your system being successful? It's big and it's going to get a lot better. It better get a lot better. And so I think as we go through this again, like we have a very high ceiling. We're not there yet. And they're going to learn to play with each other so much better than they're playing with each other right now. And they just don't see that yet. Coach, kind of the same thing I asked the players. With this system of bringing five in, five out every few t trips down the floor, how hard is it for your team to develop momentum as the game goes on? It's not hard at all, um, but it does take time to figure it out. And so what, where, where it is difficult is this time of year, right? In December, January, February, it's not hard. And so the point is, if you come out of that game and you're not tired and you don't need a break, you're not doing it right. So it's not a situation where they're just being pulled out just to be pulled out. They're being pulled out because they're gassed. They get their break, and then they can go back in whenever they want. 
Just looking at the box score, Samara kind of gets lost in the shuffle, but what did you like about how she did operating the offense? She was phenomenal. She was phenomenal. She didn't take any bad shots. She was great on defense. I think I don't think there was a 50-50 ball around her that she lost. She had seven assists, zero turnovers. She's been in the gym this week shooting three. She shot the three very well tonight, and so maybe she didn't have as many points as she wanted, but I think her stat sheet is really great for her. Obviously a pretty great debut for Ruby Whitehorn. Just what did you think of you know the, the spot she was getting to, her selection, and how efficient she was? Yeah, we've been on Ruby a little bit, you know. Uh, get in the gym, shoot more threes, let's work on counter moves, let's go left. And so to see someone come out in their home opener, and, and it meant something for her tonight. And to see her come out and be able to use all those tools and, and have a great game. And it's again, it's one of those situations where she doesn't see how good she can be yet. And so we're just going to keep, keep on her and keep making sure she gets better. But I was, I was really proud of her. She had a, a very efficient night, 11 to 15. It's a really good stat line, and I don't care who you're playing. Casey, Paige, and then Maria. When you are subbing in and out so quickly, especially at the top of the game, what's kind of your advice to get them to settle in, especially earlier in the season when they're kind of learning how to build that momentum? Um, it's, I don't really give them any advice. For this is what we're going to do. <laughs> do it. Figure it out. <laughs> A little bit more on Ruby Whitehorn. A lot of her shots just looked so effortless and smooth as well. What is it kind of like watching her operate the offense that way and just seeing those shots knocked down? Yeah, they're big. And I think she was a really big piece. We haven't in our scrimmages. And sometimes when we get up and down in practice, we were off to cold starts. And I think her hot start helped us offensively. And she didn't really necessarily force it. She had a couple turnovers, I think, that were rushed, but her shot selections were good. And she found open teammates, and she took shots, and she was hitting threes, so she was really hard to guard. I know Kanaya Boyd is listed as a red shirt just because she enrolled early, and I think she finally turned 18. I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not She's sure. She's 18. She really got into the flow of it. I mean, that's a, really a true freshman out there. Just how impressed were you with, with, uh, with Kanaya's ability tonight to, to play especially the way you want to play. I mean, she's one of the smallest people we put out there, and she had seven offensive rebounds. She's going to be really good at this. And so she's a true freshman in a sense, but her journey is a little bit harder because she's had to sit out. She didn't play basketball for a full year. And so not only does she have a bright future over four years, she has a bright future over this season because she's just a little bit rusty, and she's young. And so once we can just really get her confidence going, I think your guys are going to see a different player. Coach, with Destiny coming back from that injury, what would you like from her in her first game back? No, I think she did a really good job. She wasn't, she didn't play fast or too fast. She didn't try to force anything. She played within our system. She got people open shots. So I thought that was really good. I know it's you know an exhibition against Division II school, but this is a much wider margin of victory than the last couple of years. What were you happiest with from a defensive standpoint, especially not even you know giving up 50 points? Yeah, I think my the thing I'm the most happy about is our steals and our forced turnovers, and we, it just became with pressure. And and some of the previous times we have to bark at them and yell at them, get up, get up, get up, and they did that without us barking tonight, which was a good sign. 52 points off turnovers uh, tonight for you guys. How much pride can you take in a number like that? Yeah, it's big. It's, it's everything we want. It's why we press. We'll take two more, Caleb, and then Casey, and then we'll close it out. You've mentioned the offense playing rushed at times. When you get into that pace against an opponent, how do you balance playing not playing rushed but also staying within that it, pace? That's a hard balance. It, it takes time. And it comes with roles. It comes with watching individual film. Uh, space and you, we do want to play fast but we do want to share the ball and so that is a little song and dance that takes a month month and a half and when I say it looks early, ugly early little things like that are, are what I see How did you see Talija's defensive play kind of fuel her offensive confidence tonight? It was huge. It didn't only fuel her offensive confidence because I know she was a little down. She was missing some shots. Um, but it fueled our entire team's offense and it fueled our entire team's defense. And so that was really big. And to have someone at the top of your press that can guard like that, I don't know that I've had a player of that caliber that can really just say, hey, I want to go get a steal whenever she wants. And so that's going to be fun.